What's up, my faithful minions? This is Master Maniac, and I am back for another episode of Age of Engineering. Uh, unfortunately, it seems that I lost some footage for this episode, so luckily it wasn't a whole lot, and I can just kind of skip down to, well, where the episode's supposed to start. So here's a quick little jump cut. I think what I was initially planning to do just was going to be too complicated, and I didn't end up doing it. So, here is automating the calculator docking stations instead. Enjoy! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and I think I know what I want to make. It involves these guys. One, two, three, four, five, I think is how many I'll need. Yeah. So, basically, I want to be able to auto-craft with calculator, and I think this is not a terrible place to do it. Actually, I think I think this is a less terrible place to do it. So I'll do that, and then I'll have two blocks in between. Like that. Yeah, that's not so terrible. And then... One, two... One can go here... Maybe not. Maybe not. Oop. Too far. Actually, that's going to have, like, the same issue, isn't it? Maybe this isn't the right place for it. Oh, no. I am too powerful. Let's see. Where else can I put these guys? Why are you... Why are you not stacking? That's weird. Is it because I've placed down all but that one? Oh, that's so strange. Okay, uh, where can I put these? I mean, I've got room up here now, so... What's in here? Nothing useful. So let's go ahead and break that. Why does the drill work just fine on wood, but not on chess? These are questions that I demand answers to. So I will hoppity hoppity down here and put all of this crap -o away. There we go. Actually, I could just do these on separate channels, but that's fine. Uh, I need to get all of my calculators out. Do I? Is there only four? Let's see. We have info, not relevant, regular, scientific, flawless, and atomic. What is the dynamic calculator? What is what is that used to make? Oh, I see. It is like many calculators in one. Nifty. Well, I'm I'm not going to be using that. Um for now, just going to set up these four. I believe. So, regular calculator, scientific. Actually. How do I how do I remove the There we go. I changed my mind. want to do regular calculator, scientific, flawless, and then atomic. Good? I think, is this shiny? That is shiny. So I've got a flawless calculator on me, and I can change it between multiple different modes. Interesting. Empty? What? Okay, whatever. So, I've got a flawless calculator and I can use that to do whatever I need to do in my inventory. I'm going to put another docking station right there. And I mean, I've got plenty of room up here so I can run power to all of that. I need... What do I need? I mean... I think... Oh, wait, 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 wait. How do I make... Damn it. How 
do I make of these? Let's see, these are that, so that's... Okay, okay. Actually, how do I make the Fuego Diamond? Okay, so it is in an atomic calculator. Good. Good, good, good. I think I know how I want to set this up. So first and foremost, these guys are all going to need power, I believe. Oh, right, 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 right. I was going to grab a secondary atomic calculator. Because apparently you can get these from scanning circuits and all that. I don't think I'll need any more than what I've got, but it'll be it'll be nice to have. So let's go ahead and poppity, poppity, poppity. Just remove a crap load of blocks from over here. Just in the interest of being ready. Oh, okay, so they do require stuff even in the docking station. That is good to know. Ooh, hello. Wait, is that, that is my main line, or that's my line going into the battery. So I don't want to utilitize that yet. Oh, oh, back up go up. Nope. Dang it. Still getting used to this whole flight thing. Uh, you need to be charged. So go ahead and do that. Actually, I, do I have any of the good conduit? Probably not. I should turn off hover mode. That's what's screwing me up here. Oh, hang up. Uh, conduit. shouldn't be a problem so that'll get crafting good 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 did I not have any oh I do have some okay oh be right back all right ladies and gentlemen we are back and I've run some cabling and stuff and I've got some things ready so I think I'm prepared to start all this so I've got Emmy interfaces exporting into chests back here and like I said before, one of these atomic calculators is going to be specifically for crafting fire diamonds. Because they get wonky and backed up, I would rather keep two stacks of blaze rods stocked in here and just feed it some diamonds than have to deal with it messing up other crafts. So we're going to do that one first. And in order for me to do that, I need to... I mean, I guess I can just pop over here... Grab some blaze rods. I should be actually... Go ahead and put them in right there. So, next thing I'm going to need is some conduits. Now, you're going to be extract on, let's say, brown. But you're also going to be in and out. Your insert is going to be on red. Okay, so red is the channel that's going to pull from all of the calculators and go back into my system. Right? Sounds good to me? So brown is going to put... Blaze rods into there perhaps excuse me are you not set to always active that's the wrong side I mean I know it doesn't matter we've we've tested this before but I'm gonna treat it like it does insert brown and insert brown and you guys go down there down 
no, 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 you don't, you don't understand. I need you to put another one of these right there. Like I was, uh, there we go. So now we should see, oh no. Oh, do you have to go in the back? Gross. Okay. Oh, let's poke a hole right here. And pop out here. Yeah, you can see where I got the cable run. It's kind of gross and disgusting, but meh. Whatever. Uh, where is my cabling? There it is. And that's going to be disabled. You're going to be insert on brown, and you should now be getting blaze rods. Good. So I can dump you guys back in the system. So now here, you're going to be extract on blue, always active. And you're going to be insert on blue. So anything that comes into here is going to go in that. Yeah, 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 good. So this is just going to be for the, uh, the fire diamonds. For example, if I were to come over here, and dump that into the chest, it's going to go ahead and put them in here. Now this system doesn't have power yet. I can fix that pretty easily. Uh, and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do that right here. Oh no. Oh no, this jetpack is too powerful. Yes, there's conduit there. So I should be able to pop it right here and connect. Yeah, connect. Good. And then I can just plug this back up like nothing ever happened. Delicious. So now that you've got power, you should be crafting. Yeah. And what is your insert is on red. So up is going to be extract on red always active so now we should see yep fire diamonds are getting extracted from there it's too bad i can't speed this up but it's not that big of a deal uh so next i need to look at atomic calculator recipes recipes okay See, calculator is used for, let's see, making fire diamonds, I've already got that, and diamonds. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to need to, once again, poke a nice hideous hole back here. And then some conduits. And some conduit back here. You are going to be disabled. And each of you is going to be insert and insert on blue, I believe. No. You're going to be insert on purple. Insert on purple. Insert on purple. And then each of you is going to need a filter. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There we go. So now, I believe I have some electrical diamonds over here. Yeah, I've got four. That's fine. 
and oh hiccup okay and I should be able to come down here and say hey if we take one of these plus an obsidian plus and end stone which by the way I don't seem to have a whole lot of I should get a end diamond go ahead and make that pattern and I'm gonna need a piece of obsidian and a piece of end stone. There we go. So, you can have end diamonds, you can have obsidian, and you can have end stone. And then same deal down here coming from up you're going to be on red always active and now I can connect you over to this good so now I should be able to stick that in there come down here and diamond should be crafting but maybe it's not let's see oh I forgot to set this to extract on purple it crafts it extracts it puts it back where it needs to go that can be disabled there we go Okay, cool. So I basically just need to do that with a bunch of the other recipes from here. Basically anything I think I need. I'm probably going to move this guy as well so that he's closer and I can much, much more easily put stuff on him. Uh, stuff meaning interfaces, of course. Uh, so I'm going to take a quick cut and get the rest of this set up. As you guys have seen me set up too now, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I've got this horrible, ugly mess set up, so you know that's a good thing. I should probably go ahead and do stuff, but before I do the whole plugging up the walls thing, let's have a look at this. So this was kind of wonky. Uh, I had initially just had one conduit insert into here, and then bring it around to the interface. This is for crafting the electrical diamonds. So what it would do is it would put the fire diamonds in here and it would send them to here. And when I requested to craft them, whenever it brought the electric diamonds back out, it would not put them back in the system. Don't know why, but the electric diamonds that I had requested to craft just disappeared. So I ended up having to go a little bit roundabout, insert the fire diamonds from the side, and then put the electrical diamonds back in here and then extract them back. So, in case you guys run into any issues crafting with the conductor mast uh, using applied energistics, that will possibly be a solution for you. Um, the rest of these were pretty easy to set up. I can make the refined gold and all that good stuff. I don't have any recipes set up for the flawless calculator yet. But that's mostly because I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure I'll probably just end up using it for this. For the purified obsidian. Because I think that's useful for a couple other things. Yeah, for extreme reactors. Which, I mean, I could maybe do, perhaps. But I really don't feel like it. Um, the flawless glass, I think, is used for some stuff. But again, I'm not 100% on what exactly... Eh. I don't know. So, th there's still a couple other things that 
I need to get situated, such as, but not limited to, like, the quartz seeds. Uh, I need to get those auto-crafting and all that good stuff. Just fill in this floor a little bit so I can quit falling through. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Not much. Um, I need to put a dropper thing over here. Which basically means that I'll never be able to wear the magnet again. But that's fine because I really don't use it that much. So let's go ahead and get a precision dropper. What do I have for this? Nothing. Good. Boop, boop. Push the button. There we go. And then, what should I, what, what, what am I doing? Uh, precision dropper again. Uh, the advanced coil. Do I have coils on autocraft? You know what? I should teach my system how to make those. So, coils are, oh, okay. I should automate this, this guy. That is another option that I have right this second. But I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put them. Oh, hey. Got a lot of quartz in here. Good to know. Okay. So... I mean, if I were to put them in here... Or I could put... Derp. I could just put it over here. Yeah, that'll work. Come here, you. Give me that, and I will plop it at you right here, and I'll be able to put another precision dropper right there. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, what do I need to do to get into... A ranged collector. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Are you making you you matter? You should be. Uh, let's see. Nope, not that machine frame. I need the advanced machine casing. I've actually used a pretty good bit of you you matter. takes so long to make but it goes so quickly uh, I need to do that and then need a piece of coal I need this button back drop that boop that good and then Ranged Collector. And a Hopper. There we go. Good, good, good. This might be a half decent thing to have on Autocraft. I'm also going to need a filter. Filter. This filter. Yes. Item filter. Good. Now I'm going to want you to have Restonia crystals and Palace crystals. And Emiratic crystals. And Inori crystals. And I need another piece of coal. And these crystals. So I should be able to open this now. And uh, I gotta, gotta do this. Can't shift click them in there, sadly. Okay. 
Yeah, I think that'll be good. So that means I can come probably right here actually does not seem like a terrible spot. And I can tell you, you are to whitelist those things. As well as that and that. And regular Fluix crystals. So that and that and that. Good. Good, good, good. So I'll be able to stick this dude in here now. And hopefully it is in range enough to collect that. Yep. And it is in range enough to collect that. Yes. Fantastic. So we can see there and there. I'm going to need an import bus next start Ta -da! and let's go ahead and make one of those four of those whatever numbers math is hard uh, I will pop over back here and we'll slap this import bus on here We'll give him all of the cards. And if we look over here, where this this line is coming in, we should be... Oh yeah, we're good on channels. We're actually, we have exactly as many channels as we need. So, let's get two interfaces. think we're going to need some redstone as well. Just give me ten of those. Yeah, that'll do. And a wooden pressure plate? I think. Okay, so your redstone mode is going to be deactivation actually now that I think about it should probably move you forward also got some basalt if I want to pretty this up I can do that later actually that block needs to stay there oh but it can't be right up on it okay so it is gonna have to Too much. Too much. It is going to have to be inset a little bit. Which ought to be fine. Let's take a wee bit of redstone. No, not that. Actually, I don't need those. I may need some smart cables, though. So if I were to have redstone here, and then this here, and then a pressure plate here, okay. So it's on currently. Which means, should be able to right click that. Redstone will deactivate you, you're not currently going. There we go, that's what I was looking for. All right, good, 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 good. So then I should be able to put some of those guys there. And 
And then I can come up here. Also, my battery's empty, and I don't like that. Should be able to come up here, and actually, I need to get out again. Because I need... Let's just put all of this crap away. I really don't need all this. I need the precision dropper, which means I need one of this. And one of this. And... Some of these. Now I should be good to make that. I'm also going to need some smart cable. Oh no. Should be good to go ahead and make that. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and get over to here. And place our interface right day. Do this. And where's the dropper? There it is. So redstone mode is deactivation. That's exactly what I want. And I should also... Stop it. Should also come over there. Give this dude some power. Oh, I'm just making a massive mess, ain't I? That's... that's... terrible. And... one of the blocks landed on the thing. There we go. Oh, this is such a mess. This is such a mess of wiring. Do not want. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You... you don't understand. Let me up here. Jesus. Here we go. Alright, so I need to run a conduit. Because I know there is a power connection. Okay, good. Because I know that there's a power connection over here. I should also consider making sure that this place is well lit. We'll deal with that in a moment. Uh, boop, 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 boop. There we go. Now he's got power. Good. Now I'm stuck. Do I have my... My ma 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 ma. This. Uh, this. Yes. Thank you. Boop. There we go. That's what I wanted. So now it's even messier back there, but it's fine. It's no biggie. Uh. Da, 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 da. Okay. Good. So now I can start teaching this thing stuff. Like. A redstone, for example, becomes a regular Restonia crystal. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna teach this guy recipes off camera, because this is 
dragging on a little bit. And I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And I'm ready to do this thing now. Which should not be insanely difficult. So long as Applied Energistics wants to agree with me, and it appears to want to do that currently. So I should be able to boop that. And then that will go into... Oh uh, no, I'll come up a little bit. Actually, I kind of want that in the ceiling. And we will pop in at this interface, and we will pop in at this dropper, and you're good to go ahead and take those patterns. Should also do a pattern for regular Fluix crystals. So a, you guys just go away. So a regular charged Sirtis plus a nether quartz plus a uh, redstone. So this and this and this makes two of those. Let's go ahead and stick that in here and plug this up and I should be pretty much good to go ahead and do stuff here except that I notice it's not crafting pure Sirtis. I've got some here. Let me head upstairs and check if I upon this guy? No. This guy? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just full then. Good. I'm actually generating circuits pretty quickly. Awesome. Cool. Cool, cool. Now that means I'm using 8 of 8 channels over here. Which is all fine and dandy. But we do have a good bit of infrastructure set up. Anytime I need to add anything to these, I can do it through the interface terminal. I don't think there's anything else that gets done in here, honestly. Uh, I could purify nether quartz, but, I mean, honestly, who cares? We've got oodles and oodles and oodles of nether quartz. Um, I'll tell you what, there is one more thing we can do. If electric solidifier. Hey, I have a snowball. Cool. So we need a machine frame and a stabilized ender pearl. Which I can do like that. I should really teach the system. No, 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 not, not shift R. I should teach the system how to make those because those are going to be important later. Scroll down, scroll down. I've already almost filled up a second set of interfaces. That's funny. Okay. And then I need the RF Tools machine frame. Should be, yeah. There we go. Delicious. Oop, oh, oop, oh, that. Head back over here. And what was I? Solidifier. That's what I wanted. Okay. So I know I need these to get to the next age, which I think ought to be advanced rocketry, maybe? Go ahead and break that. No need for it. Put this guy here. And block ingot or nugget. So how do I get... Refined iron. How do I do you? A furnace, an electric solidifier with molten steel. Okay. Well, I've got a good bit of steel. 
Let's just go ahead and make a stack. Sounds good to me. Oh, lordy, this is going to be slow. I wonder. I bet you put processors in these. Octa-core processor. Holy crap, this is cheap. This is like super cheap. Okay. Do I have... Oh no, I don't have a yellow flower. Oh no. Uh, yellow? Sure don't. Alright, give me a moment. Let me go and find a sunflower and I will return. Gotta love cheaty vanilla bugs. Duping flowers should not be this easy. I wish there was one for every color, though. That bugs me. But ta-da! Got a stack of the sunflowers. So let's come down here and program in those octa-core processors. Uh, processor close that and do that and do that so there's one two And then should be able to do the quad core from here. What? Why you no make? There we go. And shall we go ahead and make like that? Yeah, so the octa core processor. Not even sure that's an actual thing, but we'll roll with it. Uh, octa core. Actually, before I do that, oh, wrong thing, at Neo Tech. Yeah, because this is like upgrades for tools and stuff, so I guess the octa-core processor is like the only processor that, okay, uh, actually... Ten, eleven, twelve. Next, start. Let's see how quick it goes. Oh, well, that's not bad at all. Huh. Give me those. Oh no. Okay, so now I should be able to vomitos up to here. And you guys are good. Oh. Okay. Apparently you can only use one. Well, now I've got plenty. You should be in ingot mode. Either way, this is going pretty quickly. Good. Good. Good for multiple reasons. A, because I can come down here and do this and get a Tech Reborn machine block and a trophy. Yay! And then I can take this trophy and boop it right there. Delicious. In our beautiful trophy room. By the way, put a dome on this place. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. Yeah, between episodes, I decided to smelt up about 21,000 glass. Put my system through a little bit of a test run. And it actually handled it really well. Only took about an hour to make. So, there's that. Uh, so, I've got this machine block. No idea what I'd use it for. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Triggers age 11? 
I believe. So I need a machine truck structure for age 11, which means I need chrome, which means I need chrome, which can be made in the arc furnace. So the arc furnace is going to be one of my next machines. Oh, that's going to be fun. I'll probably do RF tools control. Because I have heard tell. Let's see if the recipes have changed. At RF to no RF tools control. See, I've heard of a program that people have made for RF tools control that auto distributes things for the blast furnace or for the uh, the 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 arc furnace. So that would be a really cool thing to have. But also, I would like to have a solar panel if at all possible i mean i could do this here for but i don't have the stuff for it i should actually what i'll probably do between episodes is hook up some stuff just some more general auto crafting stuff uh this this guy here this license place most definitely um and actually i'll probably move him downstairs just go ahead and pick up these two for now. Uh, I want to be able to auto craft Klein flasks. That way I can do the whole ender chest thing. Instead of having to space everything out, if I want to craft something that involves a chest, I can use an ender chest for it. Which would be fantastico. Yeah, this guy's totally full. You, however, I believe should be this one? Yeah, it's this one. So you've got two more slots that I could use. Which is kind of useful. For your slice and splice, we'll go like right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. This, is, this has been fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue setting stuff up between episodes. My brain's getting flooded. I'm having so much so, pfft, words. I'm having so many ideas. This place looks awful, just god awful. I've I've torn it up with all the automation that I've created here, but it is well on its way to being like the bestest ever. Um, might think about moving. I mean, let's look at the the dimension. Builder. That's not bad. Uh, vibrant capacitor bank, machine frame, iridium neutron. I've got that on autocraft. Uh, I could possibly autocraft these. I well, I just got into Tech Reborn, so I could probably make these. This is going to be tougher. Yeah. I already have Ambrosia. The Peace Essence. Oh, man. The Ocelot's going to be the worst part of that. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's going to be kind of a huge pain. But anyway, next episode we'll get into some stuff. Probably some more infrastructure related things. Uh, I know, despite my best wishes... I know I'm going to have to get into bees at some point, and that's going to be so much fun. Yay. But we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Probably just the beginnings of it next episode. For now, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like, comment, sub down below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Y'all take it easy.